Priscilla, I don't know where to ask you about this. Uh, Connie lost his brother, and you started there. Uh, you might have thought at one point, maybe I'll lose Connie. At one point, maybe I'll lose myself, my daughter. Uh, how do you deal with these possibilities we've been talking about? One day at a time. <laughs> um, it is true. Um, like I say, what, Michael was the first that we had ever uh, experienced. And we learned an awful lot from that. Michael was an unusual young man. And uh, he made, he knew he was dying. Uh, he kept hope always. My husband didn't want to believe it. And so um, Michael would read things and talk with Connie. And Connie's one of eight children, so there are a lot of people to talk to when you're in a situation like this. And everyone wants a little bit of loving and caring and hoping that they're going to make the difference. Um, anyway, uh, Michael would say to Connie, um, what are you going to do with the rest of your life? And Connie said, I never thought about it. And Michael said, well, you might want to think about it. I'm thinking about it. Uh, I don't know what, how long I'm going to be able to live. He read um, A Course in Miracles, which is a, a volumes of uh, life um, realities. Um, the the, um, the uh, Connie, um, then, then what, what I'm getting, I'm going to get off of Michael. Then we went, uh, the next. There are so many, unfortunately, but, you talk we, about. We, we have been riddled with cancer. Uh, Connie's mother and father both died of cancer. Um, Connie's brother died of cancer. Our daughter had cervical cancer. And um, you've had breast cancer. And I've Don't had forget breast yourself. Cancer. Pardon? Don't forget yourself. No, no. I had breast cancer in, um, in 1991 and uh, with chemotherapy, um, mastectomy, reconstruction, and um, uh, five years of tamoxifen. You know, that was the protocol back then. I'm alive and well and cancer-free. And I'm grateful for that. Um, but you do think, am I going to live? And I, it, when I, when, like I said earlier, when Connie was diagnosed, I mean, I just went into a state of terror because I thought, oh, I know how this is going to end. We've already been there. I've seen it. And I didn't want any part of it. And that's rough. That's rough because I think, well, well what? And it's not about me. It's about him. What am I going to do to help him? And he was strong. Uh, he, he, um, his prognosis was extremely good, and that makes all the difference in the world. When you first hear uh, your loved one has cancer, you think of the worst, and then as you learn more about it, more you know hope uh, develops, and then you deal with it day to day. But of course, Priscilla, as we've heard from some of the panelist members, at first, just a little spot here, or, or an oncologist said, oh, don't worry about that, and they're no longer with us.